Hey everybody, you're watching Cole the Corn Star. So we got our work cut out for us today. We got a nice set of challenges. Number one, it's a hurricane. We got 40 to 50 mile an hour winds coming out of that direction. We got to tear this bin down because in about two hours, we got the scrap semi truck driver coming. So Ron's going to be able to load all this tendon stuff up with the excavator. We got to get this bin down first, then we got to get this bin down. Then once all that's down, crunched up, loaded off to the scrap yard. Well, Ron's working over there. We need to be getting this dryer out of here, but we also need to be getting these tanks out. Now, these have 32% in them, and there's like that much in the bottom. The problem is the ground kind of sits like this right here, so as soon as I come under this with the forks, all the 32% goes to this side and it tips up. All I know is I gotta be really careful so I don't poke a hole in these. And I also need to figure out how to start this. Something like that. Something like that. Ooh, doggy. Okay, stop yelling at me. Rum, 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 boom, 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 boom. I don't really want to talk about it, but that took way longer than it probably should have, but we are ready to rip up this concrete. Besides, we need to move the dryer and, wow, that is hard to say dryer in that accent. We need to move the dryer and we also need to move that tank right there, but I need two people, at least two people to help me do these because we have to move that with the three point of a tractor and a chain because it's a dryer sitting on a frame and that thing's really heavy. And then that thing, you can see the 32% line in it. And when I pick it up from this side, all the 32% goes to that side. So we, I gotta have someone hold my chain up, up there. So that way it'll tip back into my bucket. But then this is ready. No, we're waiting for reinforcements. And oh, hey, the scrap guy's here. But anyway, we're here in the front of the house. You see, we got a nice little ramp going on in the yard and we got some divots going on up above that. And all up here, it's all uneven. Well, that's because a couple years ago when we redid this part of the yard, we did not do anything up here because I knew we were going to be doing this. So now here's my chance. I got some black dirt over here. I got the skid loader. We're gonna smooth out these low spots. We're gonna get rid of these holes. We're gonna get this shaped up in here nicely. But we should probably load him first. He forgot a call. <laughs> <laughs> I figured that. I, I ran into that quite often. Okay, Mr. Green Dryer, it is your turn. That looks like that's really safe.
You know, Dad talked me into these anti-theft wheels. I gotta say, they're actually pretty effective. 40 mile an hour winds and raining every 15 minutes off and on throughout the day makes it really difficult to film and we are actually hiding behind the skid loader right now because if we go out here it is a hurricane so let's get back here so we can hear me. I'm really pleased with the progress we've been making today. Ron! Oh man, what would we do without Ron? He's got all this already smoothed out. He started shaping that waterway that we're gonna be running a tile down up there. Well, notice how there's water running down this little stream right here. And then up at the top of the hill, there's there's no stream, there's no water, there's no nothing. So where's this coming from? In this hillside right here, about 50 years ago, my grandfather, or my great-grandfather maybe even, they discovered there is natural springs that pop up on the side of this hill. So they tiled into them. So those tiles run down to this little ditch right here. And they never tiled it from here all the way down to the neighbors for them to tap onto. So over time, it's just it's formed this little creek right here. So what we're going to do, we're going to run a tile basically from that pile up there. That's where the little creek starts. And then we're going to run it right through here right in the bottom of this little creek so that way we can smooth this across with dirt and then all this water will it'll basically be like a pipe underneath the ground so all that water will run through there and then it'll open up to the creek down below here once we get past this tree on the end basically once that dark dirt stops right there we'll run it down to about there and then the creek will just continue on how it normally does we'd like to be able to drive straight through this and right now we can't because this ditch is fairly significantly deep. It's not a dire need, but it's a lot easier to keep everything mowed, keep the weeds down, keep all the trees out. And it's just a lot easier to get into the field. And also, I want to do things with these trees over here. I'll probably end up making a path right along the back side at some point once we get all that cleaned up. So it'll make it a lot easier to get to. Otherwise, once the crops are up, I gotta go all the way down under the road. Then I gotta cross the creek, then I gotta drive through the ditch or build a driveway, and I don't wanna do that. There it is. No more garage, no more bins. Still gotta get that concrete ripped out of there. Still gotta get all that stuff gone. Still gotta get everything smoothed out. But we have a preliminary look on how stuff is going to look. But anyway, that sun's gonna be going down in like 10 minutes, and you guys can't see in the dark, so we're gonna call it a day. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Come tend the garden with me. We have so many seeds to sow